Do you want a uh, PKA question? A Patreon sure. question? Yes, sir. Yeah, well, let's... I love those. Patreon.com slash PKA. <laughs> 10 bucks for the questions. The questions you want look, answered, as long as they're look, good. And, and look, if you're going to ask a question, here, let me give you some tips, okay? So mm. sometimes you guys say something like, and please do join the Patreon. I like answering your questions when they're good. I try not to dog you guys because it seems so shitty that you guys have joined the Patreon. You've utilized your ability to ask me this $10 question. For me to come on and say that you look like an idiot the way you write and that you didn't give me enough information to give you a real fucking answer, and it may, it's tremendously frustrating that you're so stupid, that would be shitty of me to say. Because again, yeah, that right. totally so he'd never. <laughs> so he'd never say that. I, wouldn't, I would never say that. But for the sake of your question being answered properly, the benefit of me not getting angry at like words on a screen, here are some tips. Let's say you've got relationship trouble. Give me the full backstory. Go. We like it. We like tons of information paragraphs multiple paragraphs that's another thing if you didn't do so well in english get a friend to come and help with this it'll be a laugh okay because some of these aren't written so well i mean just just run on sentences all right, <laughs> all right lots of misspellings y'all don't have spell correct like what is this it's we anyway. they're busy men they're in a hurry what i'm saying is if you're gonna ask a ten dollar question make it count like i want to answer your good questions not i mean some of you some of y'all aren't right. No, the the details thing is right. I like, read all I, the they're questions. They're probably thinking like, oh, they don't they don't want to do like too much details. No, if you're if you're doing like more details is better because then there's more to fucking riff off of. Absolutely. <laughs> just, that's, are that's are we thing. know yeah. how to judge if your girlfriend's cheating on you or if she's just like, I don't know, sleepy? Like, give me all the information so that we can judge those questions. I like those questions in particular when someone's like, I don't know what's going on. My girlfriend's been doing this that and the other my roommate acts like nothing's going on and i've seen them talking behind my back and so like, okay well they're planning a birthday party or they're fucking it's one or the other yeah. <laughs> like, I, I like to get all the information oh, okay i want to i want to change gears a little bit but i don't want to like leave where we are do, do you, yeah let's do the question first <laughs> i was like this might be time dilation but i think i mentioned actually no no i'm real high too you 35 know, real, minutes ago this is basically a stone <laughs> like, episode like, like, like I, i'm real high too this thing is much stronger than i thought it was going to be and they I, say i, I interrupt down. but how is it fair? i'm the only one who's not stoned <laughs> <laughs> well, all like, right Woody, that wasn't interruption that was help that was instruction for them so they can ask better hmm. questions Right. It, I kind of want to interrupt uh, you like one more definitely time. Not an interruption see. at all. I'm Hypothetically, if you guys were 20 years old and uncircumcised, would you get the surgery or stay floppy? Not if Kyle. it didn't cause a problem. All right. A 100. All right. If you're asking our personal opinions, I, I will always go back to this. There are no women that I'm aware of that have an issue with a circumcised penis. There are, however, women who have an issue with a circumcised penis. And therefore, I will bend to the will of the small chance that I'll ever be about to fuck a woman and she would say, ew, I don't like that. If there's a 1% chance that could happen, okay? And maybe, look, if you're the type then of guy who... it happens who, to Kyle maybe, four times a year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what I, and, and like think about it this way like like maybe you're not the kind of guy who gets a lot of opportunities like, like maybe like oh it's been i've been looking for a girl for six months finally i found one and she says no like are you gonna risk that like no i would absolutely 100 percent recommend it, uh get, getting circumcised because of everything i just said it's as simple no, as that that's... and yes it will hurt yes it will hurt it will hurt tremendously i have a friend who um performed one uh Bobbity performed a, a circumcision i think on a, like an adult man oh and i thought you were gonna say himself. He knew so it, it was either that or he we knew weren't someone who had, had it done. he had like first-hand <laughs> information about the healing process and apparently it's so the worst part is you wake up and you have like morning wood and then it stretches out that area where there is no skin on your penis and it's very painful uh don't, that's don't uh, really that might cure the morning wood too yeah, through no. agony. If you have somebody stick a, a, a thumbtack under your toenail, you also won't have an erection. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> See, go. I'm thinking ahead. No, Kyle, well, you're, think so, I'm high, but I'm you're, fine. you're so wrong, Kyle. First of all, I'll say that willingly, for no reason, genitally mutilating yourself for the prospective opinion well, of a woman Well, let's address your first insult someday. that you've delivered here. You said that I'm so wrong. What about what I said was wrong? Let, point out the, the part of my argument that was wrong. 
Yeah, yeah. The part where you said cut off part of your penis to appease a potential fictitious woman. So in your yeah, that opinion, is the most, that's, that is that, the that's most that you thing that you should do, cut off part of your penis wrong. for the pleasure. That is, dude, that, that is the most beta shit you've ever said in your life. Oh, so you, you do agree that everything I said is factually correct. Cut off the tip of your correct. penis. Cut off so the tip you do of your penis everything you I said pussy. Is, Taylor, do you agree that everything I said is factually accurate? Have you ever been turned down or heard of anyone being turned down for You're being You're not going to answer size? that question, are you? You're going to treat act like one of those politicians. You're not going to answer it. Everything no, it, I said is factually I, accurate, isn't it? It is not factual. You're it is a dancing, it is a construction. You? If, you, if you want up. me to, Everybody how about you let me dancing. keep talking? You're gesturing how about now. You? No, what, what, what people are actually seeing is a functional retard trying to have a conversation with his friend, Kyle. And <laughs> <laughs> see, he slipped a joke in there. And <laughs> so basically... I'm saying that you are inventing a scenario in which this will happen. There could be a woman out there who would turn you down for being uncircumcised. If this guy does not have an issue with his dick skin, like if his dick skin is too tight and his dick isn't getting hard, obviously you need to get that taken care of. But if it's a purely aesthetic thing, don't willingly remove billions of nerve endings and make sex less pleasurable for yourself because of Kyle's made up scenario of a woman maybe someday oh, yeah, potentially turning you down. All right, so uh, I mean that, that seems like more of a self-control thing for you than well, the see, average guy but like and, and and I love that your qualifying question was have you ever have you ever heard of someone getting turned down? First of all, I, why would anyone ever admit that that happened? If you had an that answer you would have said yes. You would have said yes, you floundering idiot. I know of women who have turned guys down, and 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 you're imagining. Oh, is that what we're doing? Is, we is that we're doing lying hour? <laughs> <laughs> you're imagining. Forgive me. You're imagining a scenario though, where like a man and a woman get in a bedroom, and she sees his dick, and she turns him down. I think that's rare because that would be like super. That's what you said. It's like, man, we got that's to get, it. That's that's but explicitly what, the scenario you laid out, and now you're saying that it's so rare as to be infinitesimal. Let me explain. Okay. What I'm talking about is a. Is a is a sneaky kind of way of, of letting the uh, the uncut man to the side. It's as soon as she sees a picture of his dick, maybe she 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 just that's when it stops. It, it, it's gonna stop when she see if she gets a picture of his dick on her phone. There's no way. There's no way that there's uh, that five ten percent of women I would say turn. We need talk. All right, uncircumcised men. You're the ones to answer the question because we we are clearly talking about something we don't really know yeah, about. We're I the admit minority. That I cannot speak. I admit that I cannot speak to how, what, how high the percentage of, uh, of uh, women that just won't fuck a guy who's uncut is. I, but I can what definitely hell? say. You were an expert a few minutes ago. <laughs> so a few minutes ago, you had stats, pages, oh, documents, <laughs> charts. My PK God. Stats. Yeah. <laughs> Forgive me, It's Taylor, a cosmetic the, surgery. The, the issue you is guys are going on and on and on. Anything greater it's... than zero is a problem. If there is one vagina on the planet that will not allow your uncut cock then you should get that shit cut off all right if there was a group of women that just didn't absolute fuck, like, cuckery. Like, where do you draw the line where do you draw the line we're gonna stop wearing i draw it at cutting my too. dick skin off voluntarily go shit in for the no reason you shit in the woods like a real gorilla man oh, oh, oh. i'm not that attached no. to my dick <laughs> skin, like Tim dick skin Taylor, it's the dick skin that's in need of cosmetic <laughs> surgery that's the part you're talking about losing it's like i will uh, not have lipo yeah, you didn't want you, you, that you part guys of are you. Just, you guys are just Captain Cope on this of like, and well, there's you don't need all those extra this. nerve endings. Yeah, those there's... nerve endings would be fucking tight, dude. Those would be awesome. Oh, Feel really? That. Is nerve endings How where the know, orgasm maybe... comes from? No. Yes. Nerve oh, yeah. Come come is... Literally, yes. Yeah, no, I can they're... never come fast enough, <laughs> no. Taylor. I wish I had more. I wish my cock was more sensitive so I could come just a little <laughs> bit faster. That would make my world so much better. No. So so go in there and cut off your dick skin because of a flawed. You're an idiot. You've been made a fool. You've been found wanting, and I'll have no more of this. Let's let's Everyone let the audience decide. Let's let the audience let's decide because decide willingly cutting off a piece of your penis for the for the for the opinion of a made up woman is the most beta <laughs> bitch shit I've ever heard of. Most beta bitch be. shit. Taylor, I I might be Cut getting cosmetic surgery because I like the way I look. That, that I want to like I what, what I see I, when I'm in the mirror. That's why I get circumcised. Keep your dick skin, brother. Stay strong. <laughs> Taylor, you only see half of my shirtless photos that I take. The <laughs> other half needs circumcision. <laughs> no, don't get rid of extra nerve endings, man. Enjoy yeah. enjoy additional pleasure. Like that seems like the obvious response. Maximizing pleasure. Yeah, enjoy wiping your yeah, enjoy wiping your cock, you weirdo. Wiping <laughs> my cock? What are you talking about? Yeah. You know. 
You, you know, Fish takes uh, to the bathroom. He takes a bottle of water and some tissue to to like handle that that thing he's got down there. You said that that was not a, an uncircumcised thing. That was like an Arab thing, like that. I know Fish said that, right? Yeah, I choose yeah. Kyle's version because it's funnier. Yeah, that is. Yeah, I, that. <laughs> <laughs> I was I, I was trying to slip that one. I was trying to slip that one in. <laughs> well, I wanted to be fair. I also, fish. Like, um, yeah, yeah, it's it. I guess that's fair. Um, he said there no, was like I a code. If there's like, like, oh, greater... if you ever see a, a bottle of Dawn and some napkins on, by the toilet, then then you'll know what Arabic was there. Whatever the yes. fucking code a bottle of water. <laughs> if, yeah, a bottle of water. Like, you ever see a bottle of, of Dasani in a bathroom? Issues? Yeah, yeah, sure. It was a bottle of water, so they could like wet their dick and like blot it dry. That is that is bizarre. And, it, and, and like I got to admit, like like bat is a clean penis. All right, if every time you piss, you're pouring water on the head of your dick and then blotting it dry, he's got the cleanest cock in town. That is cleaner than the other methods. It has to be. I mm-hmm. mean, I'll shake that thing a few times, and it's going back in there. I mean, I just blow on it. I go. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just to get I, off. <laughs> in fairness, I think my lick it clean method's better than his water blotting method. Yeah. No oh, suction God. in his method. <laughs> Jackie, I'm really? pissing. I hate it. <laughs> you assume there's someone else involved? You don't think all this gym work? I have no flexibility. Uh, underestimating your flexibility. I'm doing core, 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 core day. <laughs> oh, core, 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 core. Circumcision. <laughs> we don't know where it's going to go. Circumcision. Yes. I'm a huge fan. Cosmetic of surgery for baby penises is important. Kyle it's is important for men. Vito, we have a real sticky issue here. It's circumcision. <laughs> now, I am so pro circumcision. Why'd you call it a become... sticky issue? That makes it sound even weird. Have you ever performed a circumcision? You'd know. No, how sticky I... is it? <laughs> he, cir- he circumcised his cat. Well, I don't wear gloves. Up. It gets sticky. <laughs> I, I, I actually became, you know, you can go online and you become like a, uh, ordained so you can marry people. I went online and became a moil. So if mm. anybody ever wants to step on over to the wild side, I, I'll, get I'll do you up. I've got the tools and everything. Um, you do? These guys are both anti-circumcision, and, and, and I just don't fucking get it. They want their kids to have ugly penises that may or may not turn women off. Yeah. No, you got you got to pull back. The, you, you don't want that that head on there. Very my lame. whole thing, Very here's my, here's, look, I, I win this argument every time with one fucking statement. <laughs> there are some women out there who don't care. But there are some women who do, and as a man, you don't want to be cutting the pie the the, the pie diagram of women who will fuck you. No, cut your dick skin off and all the okay? wonderful sensation you'll. No miss ponytails, out on. no foreskin, like like no no socks and sandals. These are just little things you can do to not alienate huge swaths of women who might otherwise want to suck on your cock. Okay, get a cut. If if I were uncircumcised no. right now, I would be getting it done. Oh. You're retarded. No, you would not. I would be get, I, I, <laughs> you're an you're a bald faced idiot if you're saying I would optionally go in and have and have sensitive skin removed today, from my penis today. Today oh. I would go. I, would, I wouldn't be here right now. Yeah, I, we would be. I would be coming to you live from the fucking surgery. Uh, <laughs> He'd be coming to you frozen live, peas on his yeah. live from the <laughs> surgery. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, that would, dude. Honestly, I would not put it past Kyle to like get spitefully circumcised, and then like and it <laughs> go would. badly, and him be like 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 wiping tears to come on the show and be like, it's great. It's, I see him going so through fun. the book like a barber. Looking no, at the I don't miss all that have available. No, like, yeah, leave a leave a little angle up there. Yeah, like a little mm. one fourth. <laughs> you, you, yeah. you, you make it curve up. Let me get really that. Can you that do G-spot. the star cut? Can I get the yeah? Let's yeah. do that. I want, I want like a star. business in the front, a party in the back. The crown. You made it like a crown. I'd be okay with keeping it. It looked like a Chinese finger puzzle. You know what? I want I want it to be like tightened up on one end, but I want a huge amount of foreskin on the back, like. Oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, want a cup uh, surprise. A I got mullet. some goo down there. Like a mullet. Oh. Yes, thank you. A mullet. Yeah, w- that would be good. It'd be no. like hockey hair for your dick. Now look, and, and and this is a polarizing issue because some of your mothers didn't love you. But I'm telling you right now, it's worth the pain. Go get it done. Um, I I have a friend. Dude, who you can tell people field. who are smart who opt into five hundred dollar procedures to electively remove part of their child's genital skin at birth. Five hundred. Someone took a. Oh, probably more than that. That's even. all it costs. Oh, more than that, I would guess. The like my for, they sold my foreskin for more than that. Okay. Do you, yeah, you know you're, what you're probably you're responsible for for, uh, for getting rid of a couple of those wrinkles on Gwyneth Paltrow's face. I bet the probably average so. cost of an adult of circumcision, guys. It's over under. What do you think the average cost? Is? Oh, an adult circumcision. Adult I, that's got to be like a two thousand dollar procedure. Well, there's not a lot of 
people 1995 for kyle who else come on 1800 1800 1800 for taylor woody i'm gonna go 1500 1500 wow you guys are all low the natural average for an adult circumcision is six thousand five hundred and ninety eight dollars all right baby circumcision prices (laughs) name them vaginoplasty is like two three grand this is nonsense (laughs) how much is a baby circumcision taylor give them out free i don't know you ever paid to have you a didn't know before? Why did you not play? Why did you play his game and not mine? <laughs> oh, I thought I didn't know you had it looked up. I uh, five hundred. I'll stick with my original guess. All right, Taylor or Kyle. What's the question? I'm sorry. How much did you pay for a ba- baby circumcision? Baby circumcision. Oh, that's probably today in modern times. Yes, right now. Three fifty. Pretty good, Vito. I I assume if it's done at the hospital, when do they do it? I Immediately. Don't know they, do they do yeah. it while you're born? Yes. I, I would imagine uh, it's just a free procedure. I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Zach said between two fifty and four hundred. I saw one fifty and four hundred. Nice. One fifty. Depends on the hospital, I'm sure. Despicable. Were you born in a hospital named after uh, like nuns and shit, like me? I think so. I don't yeah. know the name of the hospital where I was born. It's I was born huge. in Camden, New Jersey. It's the lowest class city I've ever heard of. Holy shit! Yeah, I, I remember that from the Sopranos. That's Camden. where they would hide where the black people live. Camden. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I've heard that yeah. name. That and your 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 anti circumcision stance, you've lost my vote entirely. Yeah, oh, you're you against circumcision. Kids. Now you've lost me. Yep. Well, I'm not mm-hmm. saying you can't do it. I'm saying you have to wait till you're an adult. Yeah, uh, I am thrilled that that happened before I would ever know that it happened. Because I'm when glad they... I have. I'm glad I'm circumcised, mm-hmm. and I'm glad I never had to understand it. Although. Uh, my nephew, I had to, I had to hold him. So in Jewish tradition, uh, basically like there's someone who's supposed to give the kid to the rabbi or to the moil. Uh, yeah, I have to like present this kid. And so that was my honor. And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm the guy that's given my nephew forever in that he doesn't know it, but he knows it. You know, like I am the last guy who was like, here, I'm going to give you to the guy who's going to cut your dick off. Mm. He's never going to see the guy who cuts his dick off again. Get mad at him all he wants. But now Uncle Steve was the guy who was like, here, good. And also, when you're a baby, it's good that you don't know because, like, that much is a large percentage of your penis when you're a baby. Uh, and so, yeah. like, it's like that little bit know. of guilt you have for getting your dogs fixed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I swear the, like, immediate backlash to people when you bring up circumcision on the dick show, this is my rage. Like, the immediate backlash is indicative of some about. kind of childhood trauma. Like, when you say circumcision, like, hey, let's not do this. And people are always like, oh, no, 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 it's, it's really okay. It's totally fine. It's good. My dick looks great. It's like, okay, I believe you. But the fact that you're so against, like, just saying maybe wait until they're adults, like, like, so this, let like, me ask tra- you this, Taylor. Trauma in your childhood does impact you as an adult, and it's nothing more traumatic than a piece of your dick cut off. Counterpoint, Taylor. Do sure. you think that that childhood, trauma, that childhood trauma might hold an individual back? Uh, it could. Sure. I, I, I present to you the Jewish race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. They complimented us. That's amazing. Mic uh, drop. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Jews are really successful, so keep cutting kids' dick skin off. Yeah. Kyle, mic drop. Kyle, yeah, like, Kyle, well, counterpoint. The way I hear it, counterpoint. In Africa, circumcision's not circumcisions so popular. Circumcisions hold How you back athletically. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> if you get a circumcision, you have a zero percent chance. Of being NBA. a wide receiver in the NFL, <laughs> yeah, you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, there are, there are professional. Uh, I was talking One, Jewish... two, right? You have to go back to like the last century and a half to no, name but your. There are three. non-Jews who also got circumcised as well. Oh yeah, the yeah. majority of people who get circumcised are yeah. non-Jews, just because of the you know the demographics. I was mm-hmm. I was like the Jewish sports thing was funny because I was talking to a Jewish friend of mine who, like, brought up the like, not a lot of us in the sports. Kind of a shame. And I was like, come on, you got a few. Like, who are your favorites? And like, being a huge sports fan, he had to sit there for like a full minute, like, hmm. Well, well that was, means no, no. His dad was Jewish. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> but that, but that also means he's not like he's not that Jewish because there are plenty of people who are like very Jewish and not sports fans at all who could name every Jewish baseball player that's ever played. Both of them. Really? It's yeah. <laughs> no, stop it. Hank Greenberg and Sandy Koufax are the easy ones. But also, like recently, there are guys, I mean, Gabe Kapler, who's managing the Phillies now, and uh, Ryan Braun, who I was very disappointed to find out he was a cheater because I'm like, we get maligned enough. You know, you yeah. don't need to take steroids. And also, open the debate, are steroids kosher? Who knows? <laughs> so, yeah. 
Ooh, maybe right. that's so wait, wait, wait. Them back. Your argument yes. that Jewish people can list off a lot of athletes stopped at four people. No, no, no. I was just <laughs> I just started making fun of Ryan Braun. I mean, can I was I can also go through you know Brad Ausmus and Mike Lieberthal and like there's a bunch of other baseball players. And uh, I my point was, and you know you go further back and you can go Al Rosen and Mo Berg, but like what I'm saying is that Jews tend to know. Like there's a hashtag Jews who rake, and it's basically <laughs> about Jewish people who when they hit home runs. They, oh, really? Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's a hashtag Jews who rake. That's fine. You can very, look it up and see who's popular. on it. I feel so yeah. left out. I should pretend to be Jewish. It's, uh... Al Rosen yeah, played a, in the 40s and 50s, and he was your That's why I said guy. you can go back. I that's know, why I said you could, He was not my fifth to. guy. He was, like, my sixth guy. Uh, we'll have to ask <laughs> the fans. I don't know. We do this thing where um, on our on our Patreon, if you pay fifty bucks a month, you get to hang out with us for a couple hours uh, every month. It's coming up at the end of the month. It's pretty soon. And uh, one of the guys is uh, he's in the Navy, and um, um, he's uh, he does some internship at a hospital, I believe. And he oversaw a circumcision the other day, and uh, the young That's man right. was a little bit older than people normally are when they get circumcised. I don't remember exactly, like maybe sixteen weeks, something like that, and. Um, the dad wants the circumcision to go down. The mom does not. And, uh, and so you, there's already cool this tension mom. going on. Well, they, they intubate the kid, right? And um, as soon as they put the uh, – there's like a thing they put in to like open the throat, and then they slide the intubating tube in, and then mm -hmm. they pull the other thing out. You may have seen that happen before. They do this, and the kid flatlines. Beep. It's fucking dead on the table. So they're just fucking like bringing this little fucker back to life. I don't know, chest compressions or whatever. Maybe they get out that little tiny paddles. I don't oh, know. No. <laughs> like, like, like I just imagine these itty bitty paddles. And, <laughs> and kids, uh, kids die in circumcision procedures every year, either from infections or lots of things. Well, wow. there's a, some things are worth dying for. So they bring him back. <laughs> they have to they have to life flight him to like another hospital that can handle like pediatric fucking. What's the know, emergency? Heart... This child still has his dick skin. Uh, we'll, we'll send a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a team of guys. So uh, they fly him out, and, and and he's like the mom is fucking losing her shit on the dad because it's his idea to get the kid snipped, and uh, and and he's like I told him, ma'am. As a happily circumcised man, I think we're making the right decision here. All right. And it's right to do it now. You don't want to wait because she had said, I want to wait till he's older so he can make the decision himself. He's like, no, you don't. I had a friend and he told me this uh, story as well. He had a friend who got circumcised like, let's call it 20, 25 years old, something like that. I think a girlfriend wanted him cut. And uh, he. Oh, what a bitch. Our friend laid eyes on the cock a couple a week or so after it had been circumcised and he said it looked like he had stuck his dick in a blender it oh. looked atrocious like it was fucked because like as an infant like you heal much faster as well like, forget about right. the fact that you don't have any memory of like being an infant of course like so. and so no trauma but you also heal Man, much really much true. faster your body is is is, is growing at, a, at a ridiculous rate you've still got stem cells cooking yeah so you don't want to get circumcised later. Well, I, I, in life. I'm blown away that your answer to that is so snip the dick skin off day one instead of just don't do it. D just don't do it. The rest of the world's doing just fine. The fact that our country and like a like a couple groups are like this is the right thing to do. It's actually healthier. Uh, it's it's way better for you. Oh, the rest of the world, the other 6.8 billion people on Earth. No, no, they, they, it seems to work fine for them though, but not us. Not us. Are you against <laughs> other kinds of cosmetic surgery, Taylor? Uh, it's not a cosmetic surgery if you're pinning down a one-day-old and cutting their penis skin off. Hey, hey, it's still a cosmetic surgery. I think surgery. we should get some so involuntary so cosmetic surgery. So, 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 I agree, and put I agree. Into skin creams. I don't think we should be removing that umbilical cord either, all right? That is on... Why are we taking Whoa. that off? Whoa, the IQ of this take! That's <laughs> that 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 dragging what? behind what? the baby. Wow, what a, what a salient <laughs> example. What a yes, good absolutely. example. Oh, they pull him out and they immediately cut oh, off his fuck. life supply oh, that he's living oh, every no. moment of oh, his I've never, existence. No. Oh, I'm, I'm blowing up. I've never considered this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what happens if you don't cut off the umbilical cord? It, it falls, falls off, off on its own. Yeah. You know what doesn't happen when you leave dick skin on? It doesn't fall <laughs> off on its own. It's you, Kyle, you're, you're pro-circumcision. I don't have mine. 
and <laughs> yeah, absolutely I'm pro circumcision. Yeah. Even it's, though it's, even though women prefer you to be circumcised, what? you're still women? pro circumcision. The oh, survey. Oh, I see, I see what you, uh, okay. All right. Yeah. I yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I see what you did. every time <laughs> I, I hear a that. woman say. Uh, oh, you know, yeah, I've done. I've seen both, and I the the circumcised ones have more personality. I really prefer. <laughs> I think. Well, you fucked me again, mom. You got me <laughs> <laughs> walking around with this pleasing cock that women love staring in the face of. I want to. I want to slut like a you know an elephant trunk. That are, ugh, ugh, I hate that thing. It's like it's like sucking on a dark alley. I don't know what's gonna come out of that thing. <laughs> dark alley. <laughs> <laughs> ugh. It's yeah, like it reaching down into the garbage disposal trying to get that thing out. <laughs> Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> That's right, bitch. That's the way God made it. <laughs> Total. I don't know. I don't know if I agree or disagree. I don't know what point you're you're making. <laughs> <laughs> he's agreeing with me. He is agreeing with Kyle. Saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uncircumcised no, penises are, are disgusting. No, he's thanking he's his mom for the cosmetic I'm surgery. Anti, I'm anti-circumcision because women prefer because women hate it. That's that's why. That is good enough reason. For wait, me. wait, wait, wait! Let me sure yeah. we repeat. So you're against circumcision, right? Because women prefer circumcision. Because because Dick wants to Correct. scare. He wants to scare the women <laughs> that show up to have sex with him. If you can't take my penis at its worst, then you don't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the IQ of the of the conversation went up, Taylor. <laughs> it is. Uh, yeah, when you're wrong, you're wrong. The, 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 that's the true reason why it's not a Taylor. You need a funnier market. argument. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> look, yes. Abraham no. made a covenant. Look, Abraham made a deal with God. If you don't respect Abraham's deal, then that's on you. Abraham can eat my ass. Fuck him. Who cares? <laughs> I well, saw the place wow, when I went to Israel. I saw the place where uh, <laughs> where he allegedly made that deal, and they have it marked the in uh, in old Jerusalem. They have that that place marked with like a printout that's in a in like a a, a plastic thing that looks like it looks like something you'd hang at like the office to say remind <laughs> you not to flush the toilet and make sure your shit went down. Like it's like it's written in Hebrew. And it's like this is where Abraham made a deal with God, and and it's just like taped to a, a wall <laughs> in a courtyard there's nobody they're not selling any crosses there or anything i'm very happy being circumcised um it, it, it's just unattractive otherwise i, I watch a lot of porno oh, yeah. pornography more than more than any two of you combined <laughs> and so i i'm gonna tell you right now like the average cut penis is just much more uh attractive to the eye than the average non-cut one and i just pull it back and seen, it looks the same no, Ugh. no, it doesn't. Not always. Sometimes you can't pull it back. Sometimes it's so tight it tears. Sometimes, and then you get smegma. I don't even know what fucking smegma was. That's disgusting. I, I don't even want to know that word. It feels dirty in my mouth. It's, <laughs> I, it, it, it is. It's easier to keep clean. You cannot deny that. It is aesthetically more pleasing to the eye on average. Certain, not not individual to individual, but on average, if we took a vote, I guarantee the cut. That's where. Here's where I live. So that 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 prevails, and uh, and and so yeah. I'm not, if I were not cut now, I would get it. I saw on Reddit the other day a guy who got an adult circumcision, um, and it looked real bad healing. He had like pictures of it healing, and around like the frenulum, like the whatever the fuck little like bottom of the head area, like it was all scabby and kind of gross. But even then, I was thinking like, yeah, dude, you made the right choice because before this. It looked so disgusting. It looked so gross that, like, I couldn't masturbate if I were. If, if I would look at it and be like, "Oh, I don't even want to now. <laughs> I don't even want to now." Like, I like I need to turn myself off. Like, cold shower, please. I look at my cock. It does the trick every time. I don't. I don't even want to be involved anymore. I want to get no. This I, I'm happy with my own. Yeah. So I looked up why circumcision started, and Taylor's thing was one of the many reasons. It, like. Uh, it's not the, the origin is not known with certainty. Uh, they proposed it as a religious sacrifice, a rite of passage mar marking adulthood, a form of sympathetic magic to in ensure virility and fertility, uh, as a means of reducing sexual pleasure, like Taylor said, as an aid to hygiene where bathing is impractical, marking of a higher social status, humiliating enemies and slaves as symbolic castration. Um, there's a whole bunch of reasons here. Discouraging masturbation is one. Uh, removing excess pleasure is one. But what was it in the Bible, though? The cleanliness but, thing. In the Bible, somebody was in trouble, if I remember yeah. correctly. God was going to fuck them up, and uh, they were like, quick, I'm going to cut off my son's foreskin and put the 
foreskin blood on 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 your feet, Abraham, and now God will like let you slide. Like that's a thing, right? I'm uh, almost yeah, I think it was Abraham. About that. I'm gonna look up Abraham foreskin. Abraham. Yeah, the way I remember it, like Abraham was in when shit he was with circumcised. God. Yeah, it, it was it very very painful. I just I think Abraham was in some shit with God, and God was gonna like fuck him up, and his wife was like, oh God. Well, she's, <laughs> she was like, she was like, God's gonna fuck up Abraham. Come here, Jacob, or whatever Abraham's son was, because he had many sons, I'm told, and many sons had father Abraham. And and she was like, you know, we're gonna have to cut <laughs> so- the end of your, yeah, we're gonna have to cut the end of your dick off, and 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 like put a little. Flick, flick the blood on Abraham's feet, and when God sees that, it'll all be chill. Like, like he'll he'll be like, "Whoa, we're and, we're straight now." We're, and you we're know good. what is even creepier is this is from uh, the and uh, the New International Version. It says on the very on that very day, Abraham took his son Ishmael and all those born into his household and bought and brought or bought with his money, so his slaves too, every male in his household and circumcised them as God told him. Now Abraham was circumcised at the age of ninety nine, which means. That this 99-year-old who had cut the tip of his own penis off was now conscripted to cut the tip of everybody else's penis off. Imagine He's suffering the from stress. blood loss. Yeah, you're suffering from blood loss because you have no idea how this shit works. You know, he's he's figuring it out as he goes. You know, the first three guys in line are like shuffling to try and get behind. Like, no, 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 I insist. You you receive the blessing of God first, my brother, and like just push them forward and shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I imagine. Like, but you had to know that it was gonna like these guys, all the ones, who, all the other Jews had to be like, yeah, well, of course we're all about God, Abraham. Like, yeah, we're going to do whatever he says. Do you want us to slaughter a goat? Do you want us to slaughter a cow? Do you want us to give him, you know, uh, a couple of our slave girls? Like, no, no, no. He wants us to cut off the tip of our penises. It's like, oh, oh no. Oh. Well, I have heard Babylon's nice this time of year, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. pretty good. Ball, I talked to Ball the other day, and he was straight with my cock as is. Yes, uh, you know, doesn't mind one bit. You know, uh, Satan's all about a whole cock. And that golden calf over there, he's straight with it, too. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what, fuck. Imagine what was the golden calf? That was B A A L. How do you put it? Is that Bell? Bale. Yeah. Bale. Yeah. Bale. Like B-A-L. I've heard it's pronounced I've heard ball. Yeah, I, I, I've heard by <laughs> like in in church. Like my uh, my Sunday school teacher always like put a lot of emphasis on it. She was like by or something like silly like that, and I was like, are you sure about that? And uh, but you know, you know, question. No, you're not allowed to ask questions because they'll no. go. Of course I am. You you didn't read the book, and it's like ah, you caught me. Like <laughs> well, <laughs> it's like ah, oh, damn it. You, you, you're right. I didn't do any of the prescribed reading, which is funny because it's like I like it wasn't until I was totally on my own volition that I read the fucking thing. Like up until then, it was just an ordeal of like how can I sneak around faking it? You know. I enjoyed you know, the oh, stories. Yeah. I enjoyed the stories. If you've got a good preacher, then you don't need to be religious to go to church. You really don't. It's a it's a show sometimes. Like you, you can True. go and sit into a, you can go to a, like a Baptist church somewhere and sit down. And if you're if you happen to come to the right sermon, you don't need to take anything religious from it. It'll just be some good life advice, right? And and he'll tell you a, a story from the Bible or an allegory as the rest of us know them. And 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 you'll take away from it some real meaning that you can apply in modern day life a lot of times. And you often leave with a good feeling, a good positive feeling. Um, it, you know, it, you just got to get around all of the worshiping, the, the, Dude, the zombie thing. It's called foreskin restoration. All right. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to say fragile white Redditors. Okay. Let's see what you got here. <laughs> foreskin restoration. And then in the sidebar of it, here is a not safe for work. You can't show this one to them, Woody, but it's pictures of guys stretching their dick skin out and showing their progress. With getting oh. more dick skin. No, that's all right. And, you know, I've said before, I think circumcision is wrong. I don't think it should be done. But come on now, guys. You're, you're stretching your dick skin out that Wait, much? Wait, how, how do they restore their foreskin? Apparently, they they're just stretching their dicks. Yeah. I mean, in this, in this, based on oh, the top all you, time losers. of restoring oh, dick, some of these... <laughs> Go to the top all time of the one I just linked you, the one with the not safe for work photos. Mm -hmm. What is this one? Jesus Christ. I have to, this guy clearly uses a device with a fuel filter. This stretches dick out. Stretching his dick skin. Let me see. Yeah, what the hell is that? That is a fuel filter. I I, I see so many fuel filters. <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> it's a fuel filter. What's going on on the inside there? I, I don't, it's a fuel filter. Did he just filter? pull his dick skin around the head of his dick and suction this on there? I guess. It, it appears to be a fuel filter, some sort of 
uh, vacuum line. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would. That's why. That's why I liked it. Kyle wouldn't do well as a uh, make sure guy pees in the cup, dude. This is not no. your job. Just Jesus fucking Christ. I saw a bunch of people protesting uh, circumcision the other day, and they were all wearing pants with giant blood, white pants with giant blood stains on the crotch. Oh, they ruined their pants. Dreaming, I that. want my foreskin back. Did you read the relationship advice post about the dude who fiance demanded he get a circumcision? Yeah, I did. I think we did. Yeah. Come my way, lady. I don't have a nasty dick like your fucking husband does. And I, <laughs> if I did, I'd cut it off for you because you're a queen. <laughs> I'd cut, <it> off. <laughs> I'd cut <laughs> my dick skin off for you, queen. Do, do you mean just the normal skin that's on your dick? Yeah, so this mean? guy had an uncircumcised dick. Nothing normal about that. A regular, born with, <laughs> foreskinned dick. And yeah. uh, he's been cop. with this girl for some amount of time. They're engaged. Yeah. The marriage is coming up. And she issues an ultimatum that he must remove his foreskin and be recovered by the wedding night. That she doesn't oh. want to be married to a person who has who's uncircumcised. Okay. And he goes to relationship advice, and uh, they say to get rid of her. That you know, that, that this is. Yeah. I guess she uh, has yeah. some pattern of like laying down ultimatums, and things have to be her way or the highway. And he dumped her. So, this seems like a based I mean, on these well, good. He, guys he, tugging he, on their dick skin. He doesn't like deserve a terrible you. process. <laughs> yeah. And you deserve a, a, a non disgusting penis in your life. <laughs> Kyle. Ky Kyle, are you asking this woman out right now? Yeah. Dude. I mean, Kyle's told me if there are two words <clears throat> to describe his penis, it's not disgusting. <laughs> I have a very That's... pretty penis. And I know, and I, know I bet. You telling me? Oh, oh he's, he's a little, little flub there. You know, don't, don't even don't go even a little Freudian slip, huh? Yeah. Check out this guy's dick. Uh, most recent link. Did, did his foreskin months. restoration turn him into a micro penis? Oh, it's tiny. Oh, it was always tiny. Like, like, is, like. Is that is does he have an erection on the right? What a loser! Uh, I how's it standing up so. like that if he doesn't have a boner? No, you're looking down on it, so it, it's kind of just swung to the left a little. They're talking about waiting their penis for eight hours a day or something so like people, that. People do that. Who has they, eight they, hours a day? They pierce Other than their you two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why well, is that weird? Like, <laughs> they, they pierce their foreskin. They pierce their foreskin and then tie weights to it, um, so that and then basically the weights just hang off and then basically drag it out all yeah. day. Doctor recommended. <laughs> what the fuck yeah, is this, wrong with us? We, this we, seems we, like it takes eight hours a day, and this guy says he's been doing it for fifteen months. Do you have a job? Like, do you? He probably do you does it at work. Do he probably does it at work, right? Marcus, we've all gonna... noticed the weights, and frankly, <laughs> the whole IT department is upset. <laughs> He's just walking like this into every meeting with just, <laughs> just his dick hanging down, all his dick ah. skin stretched out. Dude, if you go to fifteen all time, you see a guy physically stretching his dick skin. This looks like. A, just a terrible process. Yeah, I remember there was an episode it doesn't of Friends. Seem worthwhile. There was an episode of Friends where uh, you know Joey was a struggling actor, and he was tr he was trying out for this role where he was going to have to be fully nude, but it was a period piece, so the guy would be uncircumcised, and so they were rigging up <laughs> foreskin using lunch meat in the kitchen, like trying. <laughs> So they, they, they're like taking ham and wrapping around his dick. And, and so he gets into the audition and he strips down naked and he's hands on his hips. And he's like, he, he delivers the lines beautifully, eloquently. And all of a sudden you hear, bloop. <laughs> the, the like roly poly of ham falls off yeah, his dick. And, the, and, and like slice. <laughs> the three like people watching his audition go, and like, like follow it to the floor with their eyes. Yeah. And they're yeah. just like, ah. Oh. You have to go like, ah. Uh, <laughs> I think you might have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm glad someone linked that one because I knew as soon as I saw that, I'm like, Kyle will hate this. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking like get out of here. If I if I weren't circumcised, I would do it as an adult. Can't hurt that much. Dude, I wouldn't do it as an adult. That sounds awful. Getting your I've heard, as an adult. I, I've, I've heard that it hurts a lot when you're an adult. That's what I've heard. Yeah, I, I've, yeah, I've, I've heard root canals hurt a lot. Guys are there's some pussies out there. That's true. Yeah, you got me there. You got me there. All right. But I, and also, but here's the thing though, because I don't have foreskin either. I wish that I did. Or how, how about this? Hold on. How about if I go from one timeline to the Ooh. other? 
right? If I want to start with a baby, and then I get to find out what sex feels like on the B timeline with foreskin, and then the A timeline. Then that way I can test it both with that cup. I don't want. I mean, I mean, like, 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 I don't want it to feel any better than it already does. Like, like, what do you, what do you, what he's talked about this before? How, like, like he's he's recommended condoms to to people over and over. He's like, hey, you'll last a little longer, especially young people, right? You know, if you're not team, yeah. Don't put that out there into the zeitgeist. We're strongly anti-condom on this show. <laughs> <laughs> you listen to Taylor all you want. Unless you want to ruin your sex. All I, I've seen many men fall prey to this Taylorism that that, that you're <laughs> seeing work its ma- work its work its dark magic on here. I'm not convinced he hasn't been cursed. All right. <laughs> what, what, I, what is, what is I have seen to... young, strong, virulent men. Men who went out and could, and got found yeah. different women every week if they wanted to, or long term girlfriends if they wanted to, had all the free time to travel the country, be out when they wanted to We're be. We're talking out, about Jeremy. What they we? wanted to be. Jeremy <laughs> time to do any of this shit. Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy's a rotten mouth, <laughs> fucking hillbilly. He's a I'm strong, about, virulent I'm talking, man. I'm talking about people like Scott, for example, or um. Uh, uh, a number of people that that I grew up with, you know, went to high school with, like 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 a lot of the good looking fit guys, and it's like, oh, I think I'll go get married at nineteen years old. That's smart, <laughs> isn't it? Hey, I'm barely even have a fully developed brain. Let me just ruin my whole life. <laughs> Trust me, I'm, I'm almost I'm almost thirty four years old here. I have made the right decision in this regard. All right, <laughs> you do not. I am responsible for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> now you may say, "Oh, but my life, I feel so unfulfilled." <laughs> Do you know what my kill death ratio is in Tarkov? You pussies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like and when you're old, seriously. that kill death ratio will take care of you. <laughs> I was gonna say, you know, there's one thing I know. That's about the. Tarkov. I love when they bring up that rationale. That's the greediest, most selfish reason for procreation and marriage. You oh. just said you didn't want to do it, so you could do whatever you want all the time. That touché, is the most selfish thing. Touché, yeah. You just said you wanted to do it step. so that somebody could be your servant and nursemaid. I was making well, a joke about your... No, cadence. you weren't. You always bring that one up. You're literally well, afraid of being one. alone and, and, and when you die. And, 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 oh, somebody will have to look after me when I'm sick. I better lock somebody down for life. I well, better get a full lifetime contract with somebody so they have to. watched enough videos of nursing f- homes where the fucking employees are just will just walk up and slap, slap, just right into some old fucking geezer's face for no reason. Newsflash, Taylor, I like it rough.